This is Yerkes Observatory at the University of Chicago, the birthplace of modern astrophysics. This building has housed some of the greatest minds of the 20th century, including Einstein, Hubble, and Sagan, and us. So without further ado, Carthage Microgravity Team, USIP presents Facts of Yerkes Observatory. In two minutes. In 1892, George Hale, University of Chicago astronomy professor, instigated the charge for building a new observatory. Hale meets Charles T. Yerkes, an entrepreneur who foots the bill to build the largest telescope in the world. In 1893, they decided to build the observatory in Williams Bay after accepting an invitation to visit a friend's house in Lake Geneva. It was perfect because the observatory needed to be built within 100 miles of the University of Chicago. Henry Ives Cobb is hired to design the observatory with the idea that the astronomer would be, quote, enabled to command an obstructed view of the sky at any time while observing. In 1894, Construction begins on the observatory. In 1897, the observatory is built and a huge dedication ceremony is planned, until one night in October when the elevating floor in the observatory collapsed. The unveiling was delayed until the contractors redesigned the cables, and the unveiling was a success. In 1905, Edwin Frost takes over as director of Yerkes from George Hale. He contributed to the development of the grounds. His greatest contribution was the grand landscape at Yerkes. In 1917, Edwin Hubble graduated from the University of Chicago after having done his graduate work here at Yerkes Observatory. In 1921, Einstein visited Yerkes because the current team's experiments helped prove some of his theories. Yerkes also inspired other observatories like it, such as the McDonald Observatory in Texas. It was built in 1939 with the aid of Yerkes director Otto Struve. Over the course of his 15 years as director, Struve created one of the strongest and well-balanced staffs at Yerkes, including Subramanian Chandrasekhar who joined the team in 1936, and Williams Wilson Morgan who eventually became the chair in 1960. And now, in 2014, Carthage students are working on a fuel gauging system in microgravity, adding their own layer to the history of Yerkes Observatory. To find out more about Yerkes Observatory, check out their website, or visit Williams Bay for tours every Saturday. Tweet us at Carthage USIP for any questions you may have. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. See you guys next time!